How we doing, everybody? And welcome back to the Pearson Podcast. Home of the random conversations and trying to make it to an hour each week. As always, I hope you're all doing absolutely fantastic. Hope everything is going perfecto in your life. And um, let's get right into this, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Um, We are going to be talking about... And, you know, I realize that I haven't been saying this in my past pod, in my past podcast as much as I probably should. I have a Patreon. It's in the description. Check it out. If you want to support me, I would greatly appreciate it. But if not, it's totally all right. I, it goes beyond words how much about, how much I appreciate you watching. Just watching, you know, watching is enough support. Um, but if you want to go above and beyond, uh, the Patreon helps me immensely. Um, so basically, what we're going to be talking about in this episode is, as always, my VVNFT haul for this week. I'm um, going to be talking about, and it was a pretty decent week for the NFTs, might I add. Um, going to be ta- oh yeah, real quick. What do you think about the backdrop? Huh? Huh? Yeah, I, I like this. Uh, this uh, mushroom, just planet. Uh, I got off a of wish. It's just like a thin blanket type thing. Got it off of wish for like six bones, and I've had it for the longest time. It's just been actually behind the camera this whole time, and I, I uh, yeah, redid my room a little bit. So tell me, let me know what you think. You want to look at it, it's a cool house and mushrooms, and it goes on that way a little bit as well. Um, so yeah, going to be talking about my VV NFT haul for this week. Going to be talking about my intermediate fasting. Apparently I've been saying that wrong. I've been saying intermediate. Intermediate. I honestly don't know. Oh, Yo, yeah, you guys understand what I'm saying. I've been doing that for, let's see. Um... Two weeks now exactly, actually. This is the 14th day I've been doing it. I'm going to be talking about how that's been going. going to be talking about some fun DIY thing I'm doing with my Ultra Boosts um, tomorrow or today. If you're watching this Monday, I'm recording this Sunday. I'm going to be talking about the Unalaska video I uploaded a couple days ago. And finally, which was probably going to take the majority... I'm going to be talking about my thoughts of uh, j- probably joining the Navy some at some point. So, sit back, relax, and let's get right into this. So, I'm currently recording this at 12.40, um, and I had my coffee earlier, but the thing... My grandpa told me that it it's a it's a good idea to record the podcast when the caffeine's flowing through my veins and you know you know I'm pumped and you know cuz cuz all yawn and things like that in my in my previous podcast and you know I, I don't want you guys getting tired or something watching me so I've got the G fuel on deck and uh Before we get into each topic, I'm just going to, you know, take a couple swigs of the old fuel. Let's get right into the VV NFT haul for this week. So. So. um, So I ended off last week with talking about the... The Disney Lenticulars, I believe. So that banged. I'm not sure if I talked about getting the stamps, the Lunar New Year stamps, but uh, fast forward on that. Actually, yeah, I can't remember if I talked about this already. So I'm, I'm going to go quick through these. I, I, I missed the Lunar New Year stamp sheet and... 
yeah, whatever. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm not gonna reiterate. There were two main drops: the DC Cover Girls series two, which um, was the second version of Batgirl, Harley Quinn, Supergirl, and Wonder Woman, and also the drop which was today, which is Pilly Fantasy. And this one in particular was Pilly Fantasy War of Dragons. So, yesterday I went for the. Um, or I went for both of them. All, obviously, I go for them all. So, for the DC Cover Girls, I, I basically just didn't want Batgirl because she looked so goofy and. And. Um, and. Yeah, so. Spoiler alert I got Supergirl. Boom, oh, which honestly is my favorite. I mean, she's like probably the most attractive uh, NFT on the app. And uh, yeah, she's looking good on that. So that right now is sitting at $250. I'm probably going to sell that when it gets to 300 I'm guessing. Because she's not a first appearance. She she does she's the best looking supergirl in my opinion on the app so far. Um yeah. But so so got that nothing crazy on the the serial number anything 7489. Um my mom actually got Batgirl which she didn't want Batgirl there cuz she thought she looked goofy or whatever. Um but she actually got a sub 1000 uh, mint. I think she got 957, which is very good. Um, so let me scoot the mic away a little bit. Sorry. This mic is too good. Picks up, uh, too blah, blah, blah. All right. So today on the Pilly Fantasy Drop, I got it again and I got the common number 5582 and that bought for 40 and it's going for 60 right now so nothing crazy there but i i think that'll be huge in the future and especially when um localization comes to vb and they open into the asian markets and, and things like that i feel like then these could explode um so yeah so got about a decent a decent week here made the majority of the uh gains last week because of that disney drop but nonetheless oh yeah and then um this week i believe i think there's talk about pr a pretty decent drop coming next weekend but um but throughout the week, I think there's going to be three comics. I don't know where these people are getting these informations, but these informations. Um, but I, but the first appearance of, oh, what's that guy's name? Black something. He's a superhero. He's the, he's the, the cat. The Bobcat. Ugh, I'm missing it. First appearance of... I'm completely... Whatever. Wakanda forever, all that stuff, whatever. Um, so, it, it, it's going to kill me not remembering that, but it, it's alright. Um... So yeah, that one's going to be a really good one. I'm going to be going for that. Uh, and also, I'm sure you guys notice I've been uploading the videos of me going for these drops. Um, hope you guys enjoyed those. I, I just think it's fun because so many people don't get these drops. And so many people are like, I'm not going for them because the bots are getting them. Or it's like, this. it's only bots getting these. I just want to show people that People do get these, you know, like, um, there are a lot of prerequ prerequisite things you, well, not a lot, but there are a few things you can do on your phone to give yourself better 
chances that people don't do. And, you know, it, it maybe saves a couple milliseconds, but at the end of the day, milliseconds, there's this, the, the thing sells, it sells out less than a second every single time. So milliseconds add up. For for example, deleting your local files, deleting uh, background apps, uh, putting in airplane mode, things like that. Um, I do that every time, and I, I can't compare it compare it to ha- doing that and not doing it because I've done that every single time. So, but I also I, I get probably at least blind boxes. I get probably about. 85% of the blind boxes. So my odds are very good. I also have an iPhone Pro, I, iPhone 12 Pro Max. Um, but yeah. So, and another thing is people are like, oh, you're making like 500 to $1,000 per week on this VV app. I, hey, you must be rich, blah, blah, blah. I ain't rich. I ain't rich. One, even if I could withdraw from this app right now, I wouldn't because it's all the long game. You know, I'd probably take out because I've right now I've put in $200 and my portfolio is sitting pretty right now. I've put in 200 bones of my real hard, hard earned money. If I could withdraw, I'd probably withdraw like my initial investment plus 200. So like twice so I'm always forever guaranteed profit. Um, that's what I'd probably do. But most of them, I am not selling for the next five years at least. You know, probably. Um, I mean, especially some of the blue chips I have on there. So I... Excuse me. So... So yeah, not rich. I don't want you guys to be like, you know, this fool's rich or anything. I've only put in $200 and that was a stretch, you know? Um, so yeah, don't, don't think I'm rich. Uh, I don't know, blah, blah, blah. I'm getting off track. Um, so that, man. The superhero, the, the the superhero came into my mind again. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. What is Wakanda Forever from? Okay. Black Panther. That's what it's from. Black Panther. I knew it was black something. Black Cat, Black Panther. So the first appearance of Black Panther is coming out this week. So Maybe I should do these VV Vault hauls at the end of the podcast because I feel like most people probably won't give a ding dong diddly about these. But if you do and you're still here, then God bless you. Um, cause I, I think it's fun because I, I feel like we're getting in on something that right now we're like NFT, blockchain, crypto, all this blah blah blue. It's not even real. Metaverse, blah blah blue. But in the future, I feel like these are going to be everyday terms. You know what I mean? That's just what I think. That's just what I think. So, moving on. Two, intermediate fasting or whatever the flip you say. Um, I am on day 14 right now. A um, little backstory or kind of what my window is looking like. I am, I only drink black coffee, except for Fridays. I've decided that I'm going to, I'm going to have a uh, coffee with creamer on Fridays just because, you know, throw me a little bone once in a while. Um, so black coffee only on, uh, every day, and then I start eating at 11.30, and I stop eating at 7. <gasps> Excuse me. There you go. Pump myself full of G fuel, and I still yawn. You know, I, I literally think it's just because I'm, like, talking, like, you know, so much that sometimes when 
you're talking so much, you forget to, you know, get the enough oxygen. So my, my, uh, my body's like, you know, like get in that, get in that O2. So it is what it is. Um, so yeah, intermediate fasting, I stop eating at seven and that's the day. Um, and I've been holding strong. I've only, uh, not done it one day. And that was a weird one because I had an appointment right around my eating window day. So I knew that if I, if I didn't eat before, I feel the on coming on. If I didn't feel or eat before, then I would have got home at like one or something and like been super hungry. So I was like, screw it. I'll just eat at like 10. And that's the story. So, but, and if you guys don't know, ever since like Halloween till, well, 14 days ago, um, I lost about 20 pounds or so. Um, which is decent for sure. But, and I, I lost that just from, um, not having dessert, um, and cutting down kind of portion sizes and, and that were for a while, you know, I lost 20 pounds or whatever. I was like 200, some 200 pounds, 205, something like that. And, and I got down to 180 and, and then for the past couple, I don't know, time's a blur right now, probably two, two weeks at least, maybe three, um, I've plateaued at 180 and I've stayed there. So doing this intermediate fasting has broken through the plateau and I'm continuing to lose once again. And really the only thing I'm changing is not having coffee with creamer and and uh, not eating, you know, giving my t- giving my uh, digestive system a chance to recoup. So we will see how long this plateau lasts. Hopefully, I can just make this last until uh, just you know inevitably, or not inevitably, but uh, without it, you know. Forever. <laughs> Sorry about the yawn. Now I'm getting now self-conscious every time I yawn. Um, so, so yeah, what was I talking about? Um, yeah, so hopefully I can just do this intermediate fasting and once my back is better, I'll be able to work out and, um, so say I hit another plateau with this intermediate fasting, what I'm doing right now, once I start being able to work out again, it's going to break that another plateau. So I think I'm sitting pretty now. All I need to do is stay strong and, uh, yeah, I'm looking good. So, but the, the intermediate fasting or whatever is super nice. Um, hasn't been very difficult at all. Sometimes, you know, after seven, I get a little hungry. And, uh, before I, before I hit that 1130 mark, I get hungry pretty early. I mean, I get hungry probably around, I want to say 930. I wake up at like 730 every single morning. So have my coffee around there, somewhere around there. So, but yeah, but overall, it's doing very good right now. Um, also, something to be said right now is I've gotten used to looking at this, actually, while I'm doing these recordings. So now I'm looking at a different thing I've never seen. So my mind is a little bit off track, just kind of getting used to, uh, <gasps> God, 
it's got to be because I'm just talking. It's it's the yawns have to be just because I'm I'm mini gunning words out of my mouth. That has to be it. Um, yeah. What was it? Yeah. So hold on. All right. So before I get on to the thing that everybody's probably wanting me to talk about, the Navy is I'm going to talk about. Um, Ultra Boost. I have a triple white pair of Ultra Boost shoes, and a yawn is coming on. Oh, man, I feel like having this much caffeine is making me yawn more. It's crazy. I don't feel tired at all. It's so weird. I'm going to name this freaking podcast Thinking About Joining the Navy Plus Yawning. Jiminy Christmas. Um, so. A fun thing I'm going to be doing with these Ultra Boosts is dyeing them purple. Now, let me sit, let that soak into your brain for a second. You know what I mean? Dyeing them purple. No, I'm not painting them. No, I'm not hydro dipping them or whatever it's called. I am, it's a, it's actually a technique I've never seen before where you get a big old pot and fill it with water and, and warm water. You put it over the stove and you, you, you get it to the point where it's like just below boiling point because rubber will melt at boiling point. But if it's right below, then it won't melt. Um, then you put the dye in there, you put the shoes in there, and then you let them soak in for a little bit of time, pull them out, and they're dyed. Now, I have no idea how it's going to turn out. Literally, zero idea how it's going to turn out. But, I'm excited. And the thing about it is, the white shoes look awesome. They look great. Um, the only thing is, they get dirty so easily. And... And me personally, I, I don't like wearing things that other people have, per se, like these shirts. I, I really only wear my own shirts now. Pants is something new, because it's just like, yeah, pants is just, you know, pants are pants. Um, socks no one sees, underwear no one sees. Um, but shoes, I... I Right now, I, I at least like getting a, a obscure shoes. Ultra Boots are my favorite kind of shoes, so I'm going to get those. But luckily, Ultra Boots have so many different styles of shoe. So I have this one shoe where it's celebrating black culture shoe, like purple and black and with a pink uh, place. And those look sick. Um, but the other uh, shoes I have are just the triple white ultra boost and they look cool like they're they're awesome and they're amazing shoes but they're just white shoes white ultra boost at the end of the day so if i dye in purple and i've looked up purple ultra 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 boosts they don't really have ultra purple ultra boosts purple ultra boost is kind of a hard thing to say purple ultra boost um so yeah I'll probably make a video on that, maybe. Then again, when I'm making a video on it, I can't really focus on what I'm doing. I don't want to melt my shoes, so maybe I'll just take before and after pictures and, and uh, put them in the video of next podcast. So, yeah. Um, but... But yeah, so so I'm real excited about that. I'm just shot, thought I should share. An Alaska video. Well, we're 25 minutes into this bad boy, and and I'm already yawning like 80 times per minute. So let's get into it. The Un Alaska video. Um, if you guys didn't see, check out the video I uploaded a couple days ago. Um, it's basically a two hour long video of the, of the Unalaska trip, me and my friend Dallas, side note, me and Dallas are probably going to hang out 
in a couple days, which is nice because I haven't seen him in like a year. Um, so hopefully that goes good. Um, I don't know why I want to go with it, but blah, blah, um, what was I even talking about? Oh yeah. So me and my friend Dallas went to Alaska and backpacked there and it was an amazing trip. But this video that I uploaded is basically what I did. It just took the raw video file, dragged it into the timeline and did nothing else. Just dragged them on, dragged them on, dragged them on. And it's basically just this straight up raw footage. It's me and him talking candidly. It's, uh, you know, I, I cut out personal information and stuff like that. You know, I've, I've, I've edited the whole thing, but, um, but yeah, I, I think it's something, I mean, I sure have never seen it before any video like that before. So what these travel videos are going to be that I make in the future are going to be a mixture of the uncut on Alaska video and the cut version, you know, like the, the, the first video I've ever uploaded, the highly edited. It's nowhere going to be, it's going to be nowhere near the amount of edits that is in that first video, but it's also not going to be, it's going to be kind of like a podcast on the go. Like I'm, I'm really going to try and fill the space with talking or having something interesting on the camera when I'm recording these, but because, because, you know, if you watch this on Alaska Uncut video, there's, there's probably, you know, sections where it was like five, 10 minutes where no one says anything and we're just walking, enjoying the, enjoying the time or whatever. Um, yeah. So just thought I should mention that and the grand finale of what I'm going to be talking about. I literally don't know why I'm yawning so much. Now I'm realizing that this probably just wasn't the best time to record it. Um, cause I've already done a decent amount today, but, uh, whatever, you know what I mean? And I didn't do my voice exercises either. So hopefully from this point on, I haven't been talking about, blah, blah, blah. I haven't been having a gravelly voice, but I probably did. So let me drink before we talk about the Navy thing. Let me take, drink some of this yawning potion and we'll get into my thoughts on joining the Navy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into the brass tacks. So, Riley joining the Navy. Now, here's the thing. There, I, I, I don't exactly know where to start because there's a there's a lot of aspects to this. I, and and base and I didn't write down any bullet points. All I did is all I wrote down is thinking of joining the Navy. So. Let me think about what I want to... Okay, so why? Why do you want to start the Navy or join the Navy, Riley? Well, I'll tell you. There's a few reasons, okay? One, serve my country. I have so much respect for veterans and, um, and, and, and serving this country. I love America. Um, no hate to anywhere else. You know, I... I I love, I love you guys' as places as well, but America is something special. Um, everywhere is something special. So I can't really say that. It's just I, I'm, I'm biased because, you know, I live here. I was born here and everything like that. I'm American. So, um, so just to serve my country and do my duty, my call of duty, um, that uh, I think is enough of a reason. Thanks, dog, for barking at probably some old lady walking down the street. Um, so that's one reason. The other reason is 
the security it would bring me. Um, you know, that being the money I will make in it. Uh, I would have enough money to build a tiny house and or just buy a tiny house. Um, thank you, dog. Um, you know what? Let's see. I'm going to just... I'm gonna look at my the ring. Let's see. What is she barking at? Let's see. I'm calling it. It's an old lady. Oh yeah, it's just some random person in a car on the complete opposite side of the road. <sighs> Man. My dog is so annoying. She's deaf and blind and annoying. Her breath stinks. But I guess she's got some good qualities about her as well. Oh, man. That's besides the point, ladies and gentlemen. What was I talking about? Um, so, yeah. I would make enough money to where I could build slash buy a tiny house and and uh live off of that now so that's that obviously the experience so another thing and, and these are all you know very equally in tier of reasons why I, I, I want to do this is, is I don't want to be at the end of my life and regret not doing something. It's, it's the thing, am I recording? Yeah. It's the thing I am probably scared of most, scared most of is being at the end of my life and, and saying, shoot, I should have done that. Or David Goggins, my God, what a motivational guy. I mean, I'll just, I'll just play this for you because it, it won't, it won't, uh, it, I'll, I'll butcher it if I say it. Where, where are you? Whoops. Oh, this is, yeah, it's a minute long. So good. Of course, there's an ad. I don't care what you believe in. doesn't matter. I'm not judging anybody. But let's say my thing is God. You get to heaven, I'm 300 pounds, I sit down, and we're sitting down just like this. You're God, and I'm David. And he gives me that chart. And he says, look at this. Now look at this chart, and on the chart it has all these different things, but my name's on it. But these things aren't me. I was going to change the world. I was going to set records. I was going to be a Navy SEAL. I was going to be honored here, honored there. And I'm like, God, I always, this isn't me. Like it says, David Goggins, this says all these things. And God goes, no, that's who you were supposed to be. My biggest fear in life is if there is a final resting place between and you talk to something much bigger than you. I don't want to sit down and have a conversation with someone that says, you're in heaven. This is what you should have been on earth. Uh, you do me wrong. You know what I mean? I mean, that one hits me right in the nuts every time I hear it. I mean, David, David Goggins, I could make a whole podcast just on him, but, but, but that's what I'm talking about. Beings, I don't want to limit myself. I mean, look at Elon Musk. He's got, he's going to change the entire world, but that, that's not, that's not it. That's, that's not the reason I'm bringing him up. He's got Tesla, SpaceX, Neuralink, Starlink. I mean, I, I, I'm sure there's some other stuff, but I'm, I'm not thinking about it. That's four huge different things that really don't have anything to do with one another 
that you could dedicate your life to a single one of them. And most people would be like, oh, that's the guy that invented Starlink. Oh, my gosh. Starlink is, you know, the one thing and you'd be good. But he's not limiting himself. He's doing four things. And not to mention he made PayPal as well. So it's like it it's amazing. It's just it Yeah, that's that's the biggest thing. Just not just being scared of getting at them in my life and being I mean little things as well, you know. It it's things like I, I wish I said that in that moment. I wish I said blah, 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 when this person said blah, 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 or whatever, or I, I wish I tried out for this job, or I wish I volunteered for that, or I wish for, I wish, bitch, wish. I, I don't want to go through life like that anymore. Um, and most people do. Most people do, and, and the thing is, as far as we know, you only get one lifetime. And, and most people don't do much. Most, I mean, a lot of people don't even leave their town. A lot of people have never been outside of their state, their country, anything. And it's like, there's just, there's one life. And there's so much to do and people are worried about people are worried about the wrong things, but I'm getting off track. Um, now, what do I want to do in the Navy? Um, it's a, it's a thing called a MC or mass communication specialist and that fancy uh, name basically just means I make videos, I write articles, I take pictures, I edit graphic design, all the things that I love doing already, I would be doing it for the United States Navy. That sounds absolutely awesome. Even if they, you know, deployed me and, and I, I, re I recorded, uh, you know, war footage, you know, or, or not war footage, but, you know, in situations that could be sticky, I'm totally fine with that, really. I mean, one, the United States military is basically invincible. I mean, within reason, obviously, but we're freaking, we're awesome. You know what I mean? And, and, and talk about getting the ultimate perspective. It's just like, every time I talk about it, it gets me more excited about it. Now, here's the thing about it, though. There are some things that I need to do before I go in. Um, one is make sure that my physical health is tip-top. My mental health is tip-top. Um, I don't want to go in broken in any way. I want to go in like a Terminator, like Rambo, you know, like John Rambo or I'm trying to think of the commando. What was the commando's name? Yeah, whatever. I want to go in like a war machine. I'm not even going in a war. I'm going to be on a computer, but still I want to go in tip top best shape of my entire life unbreakable and and i'm going to serve them the best i possibly can for the mc position it's five years so um um so yeah going in uh okay so yeah the things that i want to do before i go in mental health tip top shape physical health tip top shape and probably the one of the other biggest things is just going to Thailand with my grandpa. I really want to get that 
uh, done and have an amazing time with that. And and do these travel videos as well, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm going on at least two very large um, trips this year. Um, probably, it'll probably actually be three, but, but including maybe going to Arizona with my family, but two at least, going to make a crazy amount of videos from that, going to make a crazy amount of videos in Thailand. So we'll see where my YouTube channel is at that point. I don't need to rush the Navy. That's the thing. I don't need to rush it at all. Um, because I can join until I'm like, 39 or something like that. So I, I don't need to rush it at all. Say I go in next year, I get out when I'm 31. Um, I'm still a young buck. You know what I mean? Um, but, but, but yeah, I mean, that that's, that's what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. So it's a lot of life. I, I it always freaks me out when I start thinking about dates and and, uh, and, uh, years going by and everybody's worried about the wrong stuff. And yeah, time is like, man, <sighs> yeah. Um, so that's, that's my thoughts, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm probably going to call it here. I'm sorry this wasn't an hour. Um, I just have, I honestly have a lot on my mind and just there's been a lot going on. And, uh, and yeah, I apologize for this being short, but I hope you got something out of it nonetheless. I hope you guys enjoyed and... Yeah, I'm sure you guys can tell my mind is elsewhere sometimes for, I mean, my mind is just, my day has just been go, go, go. And like, just got so much stuff going on in my personal life and everything. So I apologize. If this podcast was all over the place. And, um, but you know, this is only 57 episodes. Eh? You know what I mean? I'm still, I'm still a young buck in the podcast game. So Patreon in the description, Pearson Podcast Clips channel in the description. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all next Monday. Peace.